Hello there YouTubes. So uh, I'm just making a very short video here. I don't really know what to do about this project so far. Sometimes I code a bit on Twitch, uh, live streaming coding, but I've never really done much in the sense of YouTube uh, programming. I have like a very, very old XNA uh, programming kind of tutorial, which is super bad in resolution and really needs updating because XNA doesn't exist anymore. It's now monogame. So nowadays I work in something called monogame, uh, which is like an open source version of XNA. And I've been uh, dabbling with it quite a while and I've started a project not too long ago. Uh, the actual kind of engine that I usually make in one or other, the other kind of version is now its own project and I call it Artless Stegosaurus, which is kind of the engine. It has all the managers and whatnot. It kind of builds the uh, the infrastructure and like the wrapping part of the kind of games I usually do. And this is a absolute kind of temporary name, Slam Life. It's I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just I just you know Slam part of my name. Life was like the the, the stuff I want to work with is going to be kind of life. Uh, based kind of it's gonna be AI ish uh, maybe populist like we'll see I have no idea right now well I have a have a slight idea that's actually more of the truth so I've been thinking of uh, showing this project off making tutorials perhaps and uh, absolutely only if like there's actually interest in this kind of stuff but what do I have so far not too much actually so it's gonna be a short video uh, I have something called game screens uh, and I made a few of them we can actually test uh, all of them uh, on this uh, let's start actually with uh, let me just look up the uh, part where we set the starting game screen so here we will start here at the startup a game screen and I need the startup a game screen to bring us to different game screens. We're gonna be sort of hacking it a bit here just to check. So we have perhaps one uh, like for once we have or for one of the things is this. So what it does is basically you see it has this uh, fade in effect. We can we can see it again kind of it's a diagonal line that just swishes past swish so just a bit of uh, me playing with possible different ways of uh, switching screens so you'll see it now when I press play game as well swish and the idea is that when it's fully dark which is a very tiny amount of time it loads the actual uh, it loads the uh, game screen uh, behind the scenes so if it needs longer time to load it will stay dark and then like pass by anyway so this is just uh, me playing around with a bit of physics it's it's absolutely super rudimentary but you know it, there's a bit of uh, you see I have some mouse up and down stuff my mouse manager handles most of the mouse things and I just hook in events to it but so a little ball uh, you would the idea was to try grabbing and releasing the ball like throw it past this and maybe do something but there's no horizontal uh, force right now it's only gravity based uh, just I just stopped there and you see the ball kind of animates so it ha it's uh, an animated sprite which I call framed sprites so just that's all it all there is so if I try to write you know throw it to the right it just falls down. It has no horizontal momentum. And when I press escape, it does that flashy thing and we're back here. Okay, so that was that one. Uh, then uh, there's this guy doing coding challenges and I saw him do some diffusion stuff. I just literally wanted to play with it and it's so easy in the setup I have to just make a new game screen. I'll just I just need to like load it and all of a sudden you know here we are and I chose uh, red and black for some reason but uh, as you can see it kind of it's some form of the idea behind the diffusion algorithms and whatnot is that you have a certain amount of chemical B and a certain amount of chemical A and they kind of react when you pour a bit of 
chemical A in and then this uh, diffraction just happens uh, and or diffusion and uh, as you can see it kind of forms a nice little pattern it kind of works on blurring the image a bit and and whatnot you could actually see that it's quite blurry but the fun thing it is it's kind of uh, just just fun to kind of play around with I'll let it just reach the corners it's actually I really like the patterns and it just flows together so this is more to kind of inspire myself a bit maybe I can do something similar someday that has kind of some importance in what I'm doing we press escape and by the way if I just go play again you know it starts over again it kind of unloads the entire game screen and uh, you, you're as soon as you go back in it just loads up the game screen again you could put it on like pause but I haven't really coded that um, okay so and now the main game which is don't don't hold your breath it's not it's not something extremely uh, worked out this is also kind of a test but I recently just kind of made something I usually don't uh, like I, I usually don't really make uh, something as graphically hmm. now uh, graphically pleasing it, it sounds very strong for this so what it is is it, it kind of generates a map uh, it puts out randomly selected uh, spots to have towns and forests right now just placeholders it spawns a little hero uh, in the town like it tries to find a town and it just spawns them they fly out of the screen they just have a vector and just move towards something but as you can see they kind of create this uh, they kind of reveal area so I'm gonna do some sort of uh, area revealing as they go around exploring the world and uh, you, you're not gonna have this many in the beginning the, the idea is quite different but right now this is kind of like a technical demo I suppose and I just added that if you click somewhere it kind of spawns one so just to you know test like how because it's going into this uh, large uh, kind of overlapping uh, texture which is kind of dimming the map and for every one of these it goes in and kind of subtracts the like a circle part uh, or whatever texture I want but uh, it takes a circle and basically just erases it from this texture and it can do that with quite a lot of uh, different entities at once which I was kind of pleased to see that it can actually kind of cope with that because I didn't think it was going to be all that uh, uh, what's the word I don't think it was going to work that smoothly I suppose is what I'm saying anyway there's a lot to do like graphic wise there's no real graphics it's, I just made this little pixel sword and the WR stands for warriors so you're basically you, you have your warriors that are now hunting for things except they're just meandering about like some kind of delusional ants Anyway, that's basically what I'm up to, and I'm going to be programming this project a bit more, and I would uh, probably like to put some stuff up on YouTube. I'm going to have a different playlist or something that just has to do with coding and stuff. Anyway, so that's a bit of me, and if you ever uh, want to watch me perhaps programming live, uh, I'll be tweeting out whenever I go live on Twitch, and my Twitch TV is slash slamsamp. S-L-E-M-S-V-A-M-P just like my username here it's probably in the description as usual anyway thanks for watching and have a nice day